Oh, hi there, big boys. Welcome to Swarm Blake. This is some sort of first person shooter game, sort of an arcadey one, where you sort of have to just beat your own score. This game's made by the guy who made Refunct, which I very much enjoyed. Uh, so, hopefully, this will be good. So, right click makes you jump and start spamming stuff. I, I don't know. I've never played this game before. God, that's loud music. Um, like, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I died? I got nine. Okay. Oh, I see. I think the buttons do the same thing. Okay, so left. You press left click to start, and then left click again to do like a shotgun blast. Okay. Oh god. Why am I jump? Oh, I see. You shoot the ground and you jump. Whoa, god. Oh my god. This is this is um. Okay. Now I am playing this game at 144 hertz. You will not see that. And oh my god, the comparison when I look at my second monitor. Uh, I yeah, because I recently got 144 hertz monitor about three days ago. I would recommend it. Oh, I died. I would recommend it insanely well. Like, um, I'm just looking at my 30 FPS one. I know it's like 60 FPS versus 144 FPS is not as huge, but but 30 versus 144, that's quite funny. Anyway, looking damn smooth. Let's continue. It's a bit like I don't really know what I'm doing. If I'm being honest, I'm just sort of clicking a button and hoping that I don't die. How? I'm confused on how to do this. Really, maybe I'm meant to stay in the air more. That sounds like what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, if there's one thing you can, I can congratulate the developer for, it's for creating like an exhilarating feeling game, you know, like, Jesus Christ, what the hell, there's so many game objects, what the Christ, oh my god, I also like that mechanic how you actually have to shoot the ground instead of just, um, jump, you know, by pressing space or something, that's way better, oh my god, oh I see, you can jump off them, oh my god, oh, come on, get to 300, Oh no! Alright, fine, we got close, we got close. Well, the music's changing each time, that's nice. Ah, there we go, look, we're getting all the points now. Jesus, this is one of those games you have to play at at least 60 FPS, otherwise, you know, just like, what the hell. Ugh. Oh no, this is hard. I don't know if we're. I don't know if it's just those spikes that kill you or. So, wait, if we. I can't stop shooting, I suppose, that's the problem. Um, that's not really a problem, it's a good thing, but you see my point. Okay, let's continue. Shoot the baddies or whatever they are. What are they? I don't know. Big, big bulbous things. Oh god! It's just so mad. It's quite fun. Just oh my god! It's um, it's really cheap as well. It's like I think like one pound or something. So, you know, pretty sure you get your money's worth pretty quick. Um, ooh. I mean, it's quite polished to be honest. It just it feels quite satisfying and fun to play. Graphics aren't obviously amazing or anything, but they do the job. You know, they're they're what they are. I like how they sort of transition from like going really like the uh, the floor goes from really small to like quite large. Very interesting. Uh, oh, oh God, okay. I need to stay in the air more. Okay, let's do that then. Stay in the air more. Ooh. Ooh. If I just spam the left click button, I'm sure that's what that's fine. God, it's like there's so much. Oh my god. Oh god. Ah, okay, okay, fine. I died. Yeah, this is um. I feel like it's one of those games you'll have to play to sort of see the appeal of. I don't know. Like, if I was watching a YouTube video, I think, oh, it looks fun. But then I don't know. I feel like, hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's got limited appeal, and it's not like a a story. Well, not really story based game, but it's not really like a a game where you can sort of compete and then turn it off. It just you just sort of keep going and going. But there are achievements, so that's nice. And there is a the leaderboard. Uh, oh dear me. Okay, not doing very well at this at all. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh no, <laughs> I'm not doing good at this game. How am I? Uh, okay, I need to stay in the air more. This is my problem. But then if I stay in the air, I can't get the points. That's the, that's the other problem. Many a problem with this game. Well, not this game, but with me. Oh, God, I'm doing terribly now. I was doing way better earlier. Um, okay. Oh, get the points. Get the points. There we go. We're getting points now. <laughs> oh, God, maybe. We're not even getting that many. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, God, <laughs> there's so many. You know you must have spent ages trying to optimize this game, like Jesus. I you'd have to if when there's this many game objects. Okay, let's keep going. 
Um, yeah, I can't see this being a very long YouTube video, I will admit, because I feel like this game's got very limited. I feel like it's one of those sort of, I've got five minutes to, you know, just to spare. Let's quickly shoot some weird blob things, as opposed to a let's play this game for, you know, six hours at a time, like with Nier Automata, God of War, or any AAA game, I suppose. But, um, God of War is really good, by the way, guys. Very good. It's a shame, because I would prefer to play it at a good frame rate. But there we go. Um, uh, oh, God. I swear I used to be way better, but way, way better at this. Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe I wasn't. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I've gotten worse. Uh, it's looking real smooth, though. I'm sure if, if I even put it over to my other monitor, I'd be like, eek. You know, like what am I doing? See, I do feel like sometimes it's sort of a bit unfair. Like you aren't actually aware that you're that you're about to die, but you die anyway, which I do feel is a little bit on the dodgy side. Also, if game's 13 megabytes, which is nice. I mean, my game, which I'm making, is like 200 megabytes, and that's like. I mean, I admit it's got quite a fair few assets, but it's like a 2D game, fighter game. With, you know, I mean, this is a. I don't know. I mean, I guess my game's technically longer, I suppose, but then. I don't know. It's also not a um, arcade game. Well, I guess the multiplayer. Anyway, enough about my game. But you can look at you can look at more of my game on my website. Uh, not in the link, but go on roxra.github.io and you'll find it. That's R O X R A. Anyway, enough advertising of myself. It's not what I'm here for. Kill the men. I say they're men. They look more like um. Well, spikes, I suppose. Yellow spikes. Maybe like Pac-Man if he was low poly. Like, really low poly. Um, I like how you got a shotgun sort of thing. That's quite satisfying. I like it. I'm a fan. I've always like, been a fan of shotguns in video games. Not in real life. I am not. I don't like guns in real life. I don't want to get shot. Um, oh, see, I guess it's because I'm not jumping enough. I mean, that's the problem here. But I'm sort of... I get a bit scared whenever I jump, and so I don't. Oh my god, this, it's it's so much going on. See, like that seemed a bit unfair sometimes. Anyway, we'll, I'll have one more go and then we'll turn it off. Uh, so yeah, what, what do I think about this game? Uh, it's fun, it's a nice little way to spend your... spend a small amount of money if you uh, want to. Uh, but it's one of those games... Where, oh my god. Oh god, the, honestly, the, sometimes it does sort of blow my mind a little bit, just how impressive it looks at times. Like, it's impressive how just a, such a simple art style can create such a cool looking, you know, game, to be honest. Uh, it's definitely is more fun when you skate, like, jump around and stuff. It's like a, you know, Doom or something, but with, I don't know, big spikes. Okay, well, I tried. I tried. What happens if I click this? Oh, options. 1080, obviously. Better say 144 hertz. <laughs> this one I find out is not, it hasn't even got 144, like, it's got a 60 FPS cap or something. But it hasn't! Anyway, um, so what's that? What's that beast? Is, what's that done? Is that FOV? No, it won't be FOV. What is that? Is that difficulty? It might be difficulty. I don't know. Weird. Um, oh, wait. Is that. What, what is that? How did I, what was it on before? Oh, 300. What? But then why did I. I don't know. Um, that must be FOV. That's probably inverted. That sound. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, yeah. That's this game. Uh, I would, I, would, I mean, I, it's not a bad game. It's just, it's, it's, I mean, it's an arcade game. Arcade games are a bit strange with me, because I'm always, uh, I always find myself finding a, uh, myself to be a bit bored towards the, the end. But that's the, I, I think that's the idea, as you went to only be playing it for a short amount of time. Anyway. Whoa, I'm doing good now. Oh, God, see, it's satisfying. When you get a good run, it's quite satisfying. I just wish they'll sort of maybe, like, I don't know, you can get hit three times and then you die or something. Just something to make it a bit easier. I don't know. Anyway, that's this game. That's Swarm Lake. Uh, you can pick it up on Steam. Don't think you can pick it up on other consoles or other devices. Due to the fact you want quick precision and high frame rates. But then again, the game would probably run fine on a PlayStation or an Xbox One. Or a Nintendo Switch. Uh, well, probably still a Nintendo Switch. It's pretty low poly. I don't know. Anyway, that's this game. You can get it if you want. Uh, so, thanks for watching, big boys. I'll see you at a point in time. And 
Bye. Bye.